Hey there, how's it going? Kind of messy beard right now, but uh, something I think people should consider a little bit. If the people who call themselves white nationalists, you know, they self-identify as white nationalists, or they self-identify as white separatists, or they identify as white supremacists, and each one of those has some slightly different connotations to them, but um, any of those people, you could ask, and they may tell you that they're not racist. They just have these beliefs, you know, over over here. There are people who label themselves race realists, who state that they are not racist, right? So, if those people have never actually said anything, and this this can happen. And I'm sure it happens quite a bit. <laughs> and I've seen it happen before. Many times. Is when someone who is racist, they do have a, let's say, a white separatist kind of belief system. They can go around never stating a single thing that you could point and say, that's racist even when having a, a, a long debate, they may never actually state something that you could say, point and say that's racist. Especially if they know what they're doing, if they know how to, to argue their points well. They can shift around wording and now it's, well, that's, well technically that's not racist. The same thing can go on with, uh, like the video that I just mirrored, right? Um, Sargon has a few issues that are uh, that are on the left. He there's a you know environmental issues, right? Well, guess what? Not all Republicans are are twats like uh, uh, Trump. Not all Republicans think that uh, we. <laughs> Uh, should just let everything the, the environment go to shit. There are many Republicans who think we should do something about the environment. Um, look at Arnold Schwarzenegger. I mean, do I even need to say more than that? Look at how pro-environmental he is. Um, but he identifies as a Republican. Now, some people could say, "Well, well, he's really liberal," and. For all intents and purposes, he is. But he does run under the uh, Republican platform. Or that's what he's run under. Um, I still wish it was possible for uh, someone who wasn't born here to become president. Uh, because I would support Arnold for president, quite honestly. More than... Uh, uh, certainly more than I would uh, uh, anyone who's ran... Uh, you know, in the most recent election. <laughs> so, so I mean, maybe Arnold should call himself a liberal. But there are some key issues that he, that Arnold is conservative on. Now, if someone thinks that being pro-environment is a key liberal issue, then yes, we have a problem. Uh, Houston, we have a problem. Is that the is that this consensus that if you're Republican, um, you don't give a shit about the environment? That would be a, that would be a strange uh, thing to to, uh, uh, <laughs> to to a thing to shove forth. I mean, is that where the suggestion is? Um, you don't think that. Uh, You don't think violence should be brought against uh, minorities. What well, congratulations, it's, you know. I mean, a lot of these ex these excuses for why people will claim 
that uh, Sargon is really a liberal are some of the most extreme spits in the face of someone who isn't liberal that, that you could really have. Because it's saying that, well, if you're on the right, you can't believe in these things over here. And it's like, I think the majority of people uh, believe in, in at least, you know, not sh shitting all over the environment. That's not a liberal or conservative issue. Maybe it was before. And, and you got this religious fringe end of the Republican Party who does, you know, just think, oh, well, fuck all that, you know. God put us here for uh, da 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 and God wouldn't let this or that happen. That's the mindset you're dealing with there. You know, uh, at most level-headed people, even the ones that are religious, <laughs> most of them are like, yeah, we're, we, we, we still need to live here. Whether we were put here by God or not, we still need to live here. And other things still need to live here. You know? And not every religious person denies uh, evolution. Not every religious person denies scientific research. So this idea that you know, these, these few little things that get brought up about Sargon. Oh, well, this is proof that he's a liberal. I'm like, um, no. <laughs> no. You know, it's it's all about, oh, I'm not quite, a, well, th he's not quite as bad as these people over here who are truly, I mean, and literally uh, have ha have beliefs that are as bad as the Nazis had. You know, the Richard Spencer shitheads. Um, not, you know, I'm not talking about the, uh, uh, the killing of Jews. I'm talking about just the attitudes about other races. Um, that element of it, right, is j just as bad as the Nazis. I mean, it's essentially the same type of, of, of base belief. Now, what, now, the, uh, what you eventually do with those beliefs, you know, is, is going to differ quite a bit. But uh, those base beliefs... And, and people are like, well, you know, we're, we're not, we're not as, quite as bad as them. Oh, I'm, I'm so glad you're not quite as bad as them. Yeah, that's... Con congratulations. You also think that murder is wrong and rape is wrong. You know, and, and maybe you can just stand up and say, well, I think these things are wrong. C congratulations, you're human. Yay. Yay, great. We, we, we can all agree on that. That's why we live in a country with the kind of laws we do. Yes, yes con congrats. Congratulations. Right? It's... <laughs> I say that and I think, itch. Monty Python's flying circus. Okay. But... But... B U T T E, you know, like potato E. <laughs> and now we can see that both sides are how extreme they can be. What what it actually means to be far left or far right. And we're seeing some of it in action. It would seem that we would try to find more voices that are being reasonable in the center. And in order to perpetuate voices in the center, you have to have more people come in who are more towards the center. If you're someone on the left, or you state that you're on the left, like, I don't know, Dave Rubin, yet you don't put, you don't continually it just it's just like all you're doing is giving the extremists a platform instead of trying to find any sort of path to the center or or even wow even more extreme wow a path to the left where are you trying if you're on the left why are you arguing things for things to basically remain the same you're not you're you're it's as if you've convinced yourself 
that there is no feasible way for take us anywhere that would make us go just at least just a hint to the left just a little more of course in that view i'd have to go this way okay to the left right <laughs> like there's nothing that can be done let's just accept that we went to the right and uh, uh yes amasa yes amasa yes amasa and i i don't i don't understand that kind of attitude now, I also don't understand the attitude of, uh, oh, let's double down on the shit that made people not take us seriously. Oh, let, let's just double down on that. Oh, that's some stupid shit, too. It's people, people think we're crazy for, uh, for saying that, that uh, uh, biological sex is a, is a social construct, um, and we were really criticized for it. Let's double down on it. Well, you know, uncomfortable ideas. This is a Zimbang, and this is a Savaquits. And if you call these something else, then uh, you hate people living in Southeast Asia. Because they have a history, right? Or something like that, right? <laughs> it's kind of what some of these arguments kind of boil down to sometimes. It's just, well, feel bad for wording something wrong. Um, and then after some of the people uh, get tired of being treated like that, then they're just like, oh, well, uh, let's just have fun pissing people off on this because, I mean, they're going to get pissed off no matter what I do anyway. So, you know, and that, that kind of mindset... Uh, creates bullies. There's a lot of things that create bullies, but that kind of mindset creates bullies when that's what they have to deal with. When no matter what they do, when people feel like no matter what they do, uh, they're in the wrong because they, they didn't... Well, I guess they're not liberal enough. They didn't jump onto some idea that's ridiculous immediately. Well, you know, they're just terrible. Well, let's have a discussion. Well, no, because you're a racist. And I, I, I understand the concerns that people have about, about, about what the left has sometimes done. And, and what I'm hoping will come to an end. Something I, I wish, a, 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 a type of discussion I wish we could see more of is the things that are good and the things that are bad about the extremes of, on one side, you have uh, a belief that anyone should be able to discriminate against anything they want. And that, that gives everyone the freedom to discriminate. So there could be, you know, eventually a gay, things could be, would become very segregated. And uh, the they, people could talk about the ad advantages to segregation versus uh, the other side of saying, well, no, nobody should be able to discriminate um, and, uh, unless it's something that uh, the person isn't, let's say, doing their job or they don't have the credentials for something that they want to do. Is someone qualified for something? And uh, it's, it's purely based on that and not their belief system, not their appearance, uh, not their lifestyle, etc. Right? So we've got these two opposing sides. Um, I see advantages to both. I see the side of just let everyone discriminate against whatever they want. I see that as having an advantage in that you never have to worry about continuing to make the law adjust for new demographics. Because there's always going to be something that comes up in the future that, well, some people may not like, but it's not something that has, that has any sort of direct effect on anyone. But it's still something that people don't like and they will, they will want to be able to discriminate against. Whereas in the past, that, that demographic didn't even exist. It might not have been something that 
had ever been thought at that time, or maybe it's something that's been in the back on the in the background but was never able to come forward. And uh, there'll be some new thing that that has to be declared. Okay, no, you can't discriminate against this either. Yep, let's add another one. You can't discriminate against this either, and, nor this, and, nor this, and, and nor this. And <coughs> it will always, always have to continually be modified. There will be no stop to it. There will, I mean, no matter how nitty gritty, ridiculously nitty gritty this stuff gets, um, there will always be some new demographic that can be added to this. And I personally don't have a problem with the idea of, of having to add uh, more uh, demographics to it, you know, as we c find new demographics. I just think it's a necessary thing for a free society. Um, now, some people can say free. Well, how can you say free? Because uh, what you're stating is telling people how to live. Well, no, I'm not telling people personally how to live. I'm saying that if you're a business, if, if you run any sort of business and that business is open to the public, uh, then it's open to the public, period. You know, if you put out something saying you're looking for, for uh, em employees, you know, you have any sort of public anything in that regard, um, then uh, you have to, you know, be willing to hire anyone who's qualified for the job, period. You know, but if it's some private thing, you you never, if nobody, if ever knew that you wanted to have anyone else work there, and you've got some sort of friend, um, then I don't see some any sort of reason why you can't hire on someone that that like you're wanting to train or or you 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 have trust in them for whatever reason, what whatever. But it's not some sort of job that you put out anywhere that is available. Then you know, I I think that should be possible. And I know that that can be abused and there should be, you know, there should definitely be a certain point where, where a line should be drawn there. Right now, I don't know where that line would be, would be, but, you know, I think people should have to follow uh, the law in that regard. It, you know, if it's open to the public, then it's open to the public, period. So let's say let's let's go to the 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 dumb case of the the cake, the gay cake. And if it is just about that and not about having to attend a wedding, right? If it's just about a cake, then um, if if you if you write certain kinds of things for other people, then you have to write those same kinds of things for demographics you may disagree with period. Now, if it's something you wouldn't write for, for other people and someone's coming in and demanding something, well, well, because I'm gay, you should, you should write this when you're like, well, but I don't write this for anyone else. Yeah. They don't have the right to tell you, you need to, you need to write something that, that goes against your policies. So, um, if you have a policy, it has to be something that can be applied consistently all the way across, uh, you know, all demographics. You can't pick on just one demographic in the rules that you have. So, um, yeah, when it, if it comes to you having to an, attend a wedding, that's you know that's debatable. That that's that's a little different. That there that there could be a lot of discussion about that. There could be a lot of options about that. So, but. If it's something, I mean, I imagine if I go further into that, if it's something that uh, they would, uh, that they do, that one of their main focuses on their business is going out to different weddings, then yeah, sorry, uh, uh, yeah, you're, you're not going to just discriminate against that. But if it's something where on occasion you might go to a wedding to, to try to facilitate something just a little better, and you didn't want to in this case, you know, 
I, I mean, if it's not something that's part of your normal normal deal, then yeah, you have you have the right to discriminate for that, right? Of of going there to that to that wedding. So, um, but I am sure there's a bunch of other legal stuff that could go into that that could make that a lot more complex. So I'm just skimming over that in a general way. But this idea that people like Sargon are actually on the left. Oh, no, no. I've been trying to, this whole time in the background, I have this this process. Okay, what the, What is the guy's name? What is the guy's name? And I was hoping by the end of the video I'd remember his name. It's uh, Paul Joseph Watson. No, some, Joseph, is that, is that his name? Scott Joseph Watson. No, Paul Joseph Watson. That's probably his name. Uh, the, the, the chief editor of uh, Infowars, and he has a number of videos that he puts out. And uh, him not being considered a, uh, just a, a flat-out a right-winger, not a, not a extreme far-right uh, Nazi type of person, but definitely uh, not some sort of centrist, uh, very moderate uh, Republican. That's for damn sure. So there's this notion that if you're all right with gay marriage and you don't want to see us destroy the environment, that that automatically means you're on the left. Uh, no, no, that's, that's just not the case. And on those types of issues, when, when those are pretty much the only things that you believe in that are supposedly on the left, uh, yeah, that doesn't mean you're on the left because people who call themselves Republicans can have those beliefs too.